Hello, sports fans! Welcome to the Brawlcast booth. I'm Jason Aaron Goldberg, and this is Car Collecting Shenanigans. While you're here, hope you'll subscribe. It's November 17th, 2023. We are inching ever closer to the eight breaks of Hanukkah, which starts on December 7th. There's a lot of ripping during that time. That's eight straight nights of awesomeness. So the tarp is on the field today. We are not ripping. We are going to show off a brand new Auto Relic Adventure pickup as well as some freebies from Tops. We have the two unanimous MVPs in the dugout today in Shohei Otani and Ronald Acuna Matata. Get your buyback cards ready, everybody. The votes are over. Time to get those cards turned in for some cash. Uh, okay, so we're going to start things off with the Auto Relic Adventure, and then we will look at a few freebies from Tops. It's going to be a pretty quick episode, so kick back and let's enjoy the ride. I picked up this Auto Relic Adventure edition during the season for an absolute steal. It was a player I had high hopes for, so I was very excited to see him have a good season, not only with the bat, but also with the glove. It is none other than... Then brand new Gold Glove Award winner, Cubby second baseman, Nico Horner. We've had some good Nico luck uh, here in Shenanigans Card Park. Pulled his autos before, some numbered cards. And when I came across this card, I was able to steal it. Forget this. $5.50. Nico, I think, was a guy a lot of uh, folks were just decided to sleep on or thought he wasn't going to really live up to the hype. But, you know, he's still very young. He's only 26. He had a couple injuries early on, moved from short over to second, uh, and is really coming into his own for the Cubbies. Uh, Now, I don't rip Museum Collection because it is way out of my price point. It's a really cool set, but at over $300 a box now, and with the autos being stickers, uh, it's pretty much a hard pass for me. That said, if I can get cards from it for a steal i'm always gonna do it so at five dollars and fifty cents it's a no-brainer it's a double relic auto it's numbered let's check out the number on the back look at that number 60 out of 399 signature swatches dual relic autograph like i said museum is a really cool set just you know too expensive for me uh, I like that we get both colors. I like that the image they're using for him is the home uni. Uh, I don't love Nico's autograph, uh, but there's definitely worse ones out there. At least there's some good scribbling going on. Doesn't look like his name, but it's some pretty good scribbling. Uh, so pretty cool pickup for me, uh, as you know, National League Cubbies are my team. Uh, so very excited to add this one to the collection. Would love to hear your thoughts. Do you collect any museum collection? Have you had any sweet auto relics from museum collection? Uh, you know, just love to hear what you got to say there in the comments. Okay, let's take a look at some freebies from Tops. So as I said at the top, the eight breaks of Hanukkah kicking off December 7th is a ton of rippage. So I think now is a good time to give all the lucky totems the day off. Maybe they can go and get a little treatment, a little massage, have a nice schwitz, get ready to deliver the big hits for us during the eight breaks. We're going to have all the lucky totems out. We're going to try to bring all the luck during the eight breaks because they have not been hitting for us lately. So, you know, a nice day off is uh, is good for that, hopefully. Uh, and, you know, so the freebies from Tops always fun when you don't have to pay any money. Uh, now, I use my points, so we've got a couple cards of the month, a couple Tops Now cards here. Just going to quickly run through them all. Like I said, pretty quick episode. First things first, we have The Martian. Was a real bummer to see Jason Dominguez go down uh, with the elbow injury, uh, but he really came on strong when he first came to the show. Like this, takes flight in with his first home run in his MLB debut. I had mentioned it in the past. I think they got to switch up his number. Uh, It's a shame that Bernie had number 51 and it got retired by the Yankees. Well-deserved. But being the Martian, number 51, right, for Area 51 would have been a pretty sweet number for him. Uh, Really, really looking forward to uh, what the Martian's going to do next season. Probably come back, my guess would be pre-All-Star break, maybe post-All-Star break, something like that. Uh, This one we got here. All right, a little more Yankee action. Perfect binder fodder for me. Got the uh, Aaron Judge card for his first three game, uh, three home run game. 34th in Yankee history. Boy, you know, if that toe injury hadn't hurt him, I really wonder if Otani, you know, after Otani hurt his elbow, if Judge had been healthy for the whole season, 
would he have won another MVP? Because uh, he had a great year considering he missed 50 games. This crazy hair in here. What's going on there, Tops? Uh, yeah, so, you know, he, he ended the season strong. Uh, I just wish that he could stay healthy. Something we're going to have to uh, hope for next year. With the, with the young Yankees, we've got to get some health there on, on the Yankee squad. Also, speaking of Yankees, quickly uh, shout out to Cy Young winner, first time winner, unanimous selection as well, uh, and Garrett Cole. I think it's funny that both of the Cy Young winners were on losing teams. That's like the DeGrom Cy Young award, when you're on a losing team, but you win the Cy Young. Really nice J-Rod here, massive August. Look at that uni. That is a sweet Mariners Uni. I'm not sure if that's the City Connect or something else, but man, that thing is sweet. Really vibrant. Man, that would have been a cool game to be at. I know a lot of people felt like, you know, J-Rods maybe took a slight te- step back this uh, last season, but, you know, that's baseball. Uh, and I'm sure next year he's going to come back, do great, uh, and have a great year. You know, he's a perennial 40-40 guy. So we should have to keep an eye on him. He's still, he's a baby. He's like 22 or something like that. We'll keep an eye out for J-Rod next year. Speaking of babies, one of the members of the Toronto progenies, as I like to call them, Vladdy Jr. from when he won the uh, Home Run Derby at the All-Star Game. Nice shot right there. It's a pretty fun All-Star Game. Obviously, the Home Run Derby, always a really, really fun part of the All-Star Game. Probably one of the highlights. And our final freebie. Oh, speaking of MVPs, there he is again, Ronald Acuna Matata. When you go 70 and 40, that pretty much seals the deal, I think, unless you hit 62 homers. That was what an incredible season for Acuna. I thought the Braves were going to win the World Series again. I was pretty shocked they didn't go. Uh, But, you know, again, that's baseball. You know, as we like to say, you know, for the real fans, you know, you don't have to be the best team. You just have to be the hottest team at the right time. Uh, And that's how you win World Series. So I'm pretty sure we're going to be watching a lot of the Braves over the next many, many years with that young core uh, of just super studs. Uh, They are going to be a lot of fun to watch over the next few years. Maybe Acuna wins another MVP. We shall see. So there you go, everybody. Like I said, quick episode. No recap necessary, I don't think. Just wanted to uh, share the the cards I had stockpiling and missed uh, showing off over the last couple weeks. Also, get a quick shout out to Otani and Acuna winning the unanimous MVPs. Uh, Would love to hear, did you have any favorite cards from this episode? What did you think of the Auto Relic Adventure Edition? Always looking forward to reading your comments. Slam that like button. Make sure you're subscribed. Tell all your friends. And I'll see you next time in the broadcast booth.